having trouble getting back into art after taking a long break, I've got some tips to help you get back in the swing of things. Hi, I'm Lisa, the artist behind La Cree Fine Art. It is not uncommon at all for life to get in the way of our art. You may end up putting off art for a few weeks or a few years or 20 years. I hear this all the time from other artists. Today, I have four tips to help you get back to that easel. First, you didn't lose it. I hear this all the time. I lost my talent. I used to be so good, but I took that break and I lost it. I just can't get it back. You don't lose anything. That is just not how it works. Whenever you take a break from something, it can take a little bit for you to get back to the level that you were when you stopped. The longer your break was, the longer it will usually take for things to fall back into place. That does not mean that while you slept, the talent fairy snuck in and stole your skills. I had a violin teacher who once told me, if you skip one day of practicing, you'll be able to tell. If you skip two days of practicing, I'll be able to tell. If you skip three days of practicing, everybody's going to be able to tell. And it's really very similar with art. Maybe not to that extreme, but when you skip that time, it is going to take you a little bit of work to get back to where you were. But your skill and talent is there. You just have to do it to wake it back up. And if it took you 10 years to get to the point where you were skill-wise when you stopped painting or drawing, it's not going to take you another 10 years to get back to that point. Depending on how long your break was, it really shouldn't take that long to be back to where you were. My second tip, being afraid to get started is not going to get you anywhere. Worst case scenario, you paint or draw something and it looks terrible. So what? If nothing else, you got to feel for the medium again. You're remembering what to and not to do. If it looks bad, paint more. If it looks good, paint more. Really simple solution, right? The third thing, there is a very good chance that the artwork that you created in your glory days is really not any better than what you're creating right now. So often when we spend hours and hours in front of a painting or drawing, all we see is what we dislike. A week, a month, years later, we'll look at that same piece and forget all the things that we hated and usually see the things that we do like about it. This is such a common thing to happen. Sure, not everyone does it. Some people will always only see the negative, but it is really, really common. So I think it's worth bringing up. Don't jump to the conclusion that your old work was better because it probably wasn't that much better, if at all better than what it is that you're doing now, now that you're getting back into painting and drawing. Don't let that discourage you. My fourth tip, just pick up a paintbrush or a pencil and get started. Don't spend too much time thinking about it, just do it. Paint or draw something small. Starting off with a big project, a lot of students will come in and want to do this big, huge painting to get back into art, or even just to start off with. That can be really overwhelming. Start something small that you can complete fairly quickly to start building your confidence back up and reminding you of all of the techniques that you liked or disliked if that's the case. But something small to get you back into it is going to be a lot easier and you're gonna learn faster than doing this big Big, huge piece that's going to take you months and months and months to finish. You'll have plenty of time. You can do those big pieces later, but just start off with something that's a little bit smaller, a little bit easier to handle, just to remind you of all of the techniques that you used to know. If that means that you're just doodling on the paper, fine. Get a feel for the pencil again. Get a feel for the paint again. Your first few paintings back at the easel do not have to be great. Just have fun. You're going to learn a lot faster and progress a lot faster if you're having fun along the way versus kicking yourself about all the things that you hate. That's all I've got for you guys today. Thanks for watching. If you're new to my channel, I have new video critiques every Tuesday where I'm critiquing your original paintings or drawings, my own speed paintings, drawings, and tutorials every Wednesday, social media tips for artists each Thursday, and artist vlogs every weekend. So if you haven't already, I would love for you to subscribe so you don't miss out on anything. And you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr, Google+, Plus, all the social media sites, links below in the video description to keep up with news, my newest work, and see real-time clips of whatever it is I'm currently working on. I'll see you guys in a couple of days.